Today I'm going to integrate Cisco Unity Connection 12.5 with Microsoft Active Directory. I'm going to go ahead and log in and get started. So once we're logged in over on the sidebar here we can scroll all the way down to LDAP Setup. And we want to check Enable Synchronizing from LDAP Server. Leave this as Microsoft Active Directory and this as a SAM account name and click save. And that's all that we need to do in that part. And then we can move to LDAP directory configuration. And I'm going to add a new one. And the LDAP configuration name, I'm just going to call accounts. And then for the LDAP distinguished name, this is going to be um, an Active Directory account, just a regular user account, doesn't need any special permissions or anything that we'll use to sync with um, Active Directory. So let me move over to Active Directory and set that up. And uh, I already have my Active Directory open, and I'm just going to put it in the Users folder. Um, so I'm going to click New, User, and I'm going to name this <coughs> CUC LDAP Sync. Get rid of that B, and I'll say it, CUC LDAP Sync for the username next and then you just need to create a password and I'm going to get rid of this I'm just gonna leave those all how they are actually I'll do password never expires and I'm gonna create a password and so you can see right here it's User logon name is cuc LDAP sync at voicelab.local. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I really screwed up the creating this lab domain controller, but since it's a lab, that's uh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click <coughs> finish and then uh, move back over to Unity. So LDAP, back to this, the LDAP manager distinguished name is going to be cuc LDAP sync at voicelab dot local. I'm just going to double check that. And yep, that looks correct. <clears throat> okay, then the LDAP password, that's the password I gave to the user. I have to enter that twice. And then the LDAP search base. This is where it can get tricky unless uh, you know this little trick. Um, so I opened up ADSI edit So I'll just show you how to open that up again. Just click the Windows button, start typing ADSI, and it's going to show up. Um, and then I think you do have to click uh, Connect, um, and then you'll double click on this, and your Active Directory will show up. And then you can see down here, there's the folder where we're putting in our users, and over here is the distinguished name. So that is what I want to put in to my uh, LDAP user search base. So just take a note of this folder right here. Um, users, see it's CN equals users, DC, voice lab, DC equals local. So you're just gonna wanna note that and then put that in here. So CN equals users, DC equals voice lab, DC equals local. And then I'm just going to leave that alone. And I like to resync at the very minimum amount you're allowed, which is every six hours. The rest I'm going to leave alone. And then scroll right down here to host name or IP address, and I'm going to put in 10.0.0. .0 dot six and click save and it says add successful so I'm going to now do full sync um, and while that's working I'm going to go down here as well for LDAP authentication so that users can log into the web mailbox if they want to um, so this is not quite right. There's some old information in here. I'm just going to 
get rid of this so we can do it from the beginning. Okay, so once again, that was CUC, LDAP, sync, at voice lab dot local and the LDAP password is the password we just did and the LDAP search base is going to be the same one that we just did Brave Browser saved it for me, oh no it didn't, it did not. so it was CN equals users DC equals voice lab DC equals com I believe was it and then the IP address was 10.0.0.6 for my domain controller and I click save and it says update was successful so I'm gonna move back over to LDAP directory and see what it says and it says status is ready and this does not say cancel sync progress so we should have um, or be able to start importing some users. So over here at the top under users, if I look at my current users, I can see that they are all uh, local users. Uh, I believe it says that somewhere. Oh yeah, you can see right here it says local user. You can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into import users and we're going to find users in the LDAP directory and I clicked find and there it is there there's the account we created and I made uh, Jimmy Johnson that's the number that came up for whatever reason that came to my mind um, so I could import those so let me just uh, let me just make a new one over in the users account again we'll do a new oh, oh. Oh, I'm in ADSI edit, not Active Directory. It would help if I was in Active Directory. New user. And today, Jim Harbaugh is going to join our company here at Voice Lab. Jay, Jay Harbaugh. And we'll finish. So now I'm going to go back to Unity and do another sync. Down here under LDAP, LDAP directory configuration, accounts, and perform full sync now. You're about to perform. That's fine. And click OK. And I'll refresh. See what it says. And it should be good. So now let's see if we have Jim Harbaugh as an option. And there he is. So now I'm going to import Jim. Um, actually, one more thing. I'm going to add a phone number. Fictional number. And an IP phone, and I'm going to see if this gets imported. So now I'm going to do another resync. Then go back to import again. And I see that there is now a phone number in there. So I think that can be changed too if you just wanted the IP phone um, but um, to show up, which is probably what you would want. So I'm actually going to give that a try. And that works. So in the LDAP configuration under accounts, I changed phone number to IP phone and then it's just going to pull in the extension, which is what everybody's going to want. So back again to import users find end users in LDAP directory and we could 
we don't have to look for everybody. We could single it down to J. Har J Harbaugh, and we see that 4295 and extension 4295 is right there. And then I'm just going to use the pre built voicemail user template and import select it. And it says it succeeded, so now we can go over to users and find. And I see that we now have Jim Harbaugh. And it says, if you click on the account, it says active user imported from LDAP directory. And so now we can start screwing around to this. You can go to password settings, set up the initial pin. Um, it can change the message actions. Those are usually the two number one things that you're going to need to help users with. Um, but that's about it. That is so covering integrating LDAP with Unity Connection and importing a user. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, yeah, I hope it's useful. Please like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thank you.